In a world filled with vibrant colors, Sophie's keen eyes catch a glimpse of something extraordinary. A flash of emerald green catches her attention, and she spots a chameleon, its eyes darting around as if inviting her into a secret adventure. With her heart pounding, Sophie slowly extends her hand towards the chameleon, who trusts her warmth and curiosity. As the chameleon settles in Sophie's palm, its colors transform, painting the air around them with hues of sapphire and sunshine. Sophie and Zephyr venture into the heart of the Rhine Forest, their footsteps whispering against the leaves dream ground. With every step, their friendship grows stronger, as if nourished by the secrets they unravel together. The mischievous monkeys watch from their leafy perches, their eyes filled with. Sophie shares her knowledge of the Rhine Forest's wonders, her finger pointing towards an exquisite flower. Zephyr absorbs every word, his colors harmonizing with the delicate petals, as if absorbing the flower's essence. Their bond heightens, intertwined like vines of knowledge and friendship. Zephyr, how did you change color? I have special skin cells called chromatophores that help me change color. The Rhine Forest, once an enchanting playground, turns mysterious and slightly foreboding. A storm approaches, casting a shadow over Sophie and Zephyr. They clutch each other's dreams, fears, and the newfound compass in their hearts, clinging to their friendship as they navigate through the unknown. As Winter has around them, Sophie and Zephyr sit refuge beneath the broad embrace of a giant leaf. Zephyr's colors shift and merge with the leaf's burden feelings creating a union of consumers. That connection deepens, the spirits whisper in tales of resilience and adaptability. Traversing a precarious bridge, Sophie's fingers tighten around Zephyr. Each step they take feels like a victory against the relentless rhine forest. Their sheer determination envelops them, pushing them forward, and the bond becomes a lifeline amidst the art. As it sprung from a trickster's tail, Sophie and Zephyr encounter a band of mischievous monkeys. Their stolen supplies dangle mockingly from the monkey's nimble fingers. Challenges arise, and Sophie's bravery finds its voice while Zephyr's camouflage becomes an unyielding armor. With minds united like an orchestra preparing for a grand finale, Sophie and Zephyr form a plan. Whispers of inventiveness dance between them, weaving threads of resilience and cunning. They stand taller, their belief in each other promising that the stolen treasures shall be reclaimed. Timing aligns with the rhythm of the hearts as Sophie and Zephyr spring into action. Their plan unfolds, an intricate dance of wit and trust. Startled monkeys scatter, their group listening on the stolen supplies. The treasures of friendship return to their rightful hands. Victory brushes their souls as Sophie and Zephyr stand tall in their accomplishments. The smiles match the vibrant hues of the rainforest, echoing the joy that comes from overcoming obstacles with intelligence and unity. The stone supplies rest humbly at their feet, mere tokens of a friendship to age. With hearts full of gratitude and memories etched in the recesses of their souls, Sophie and Zephyr walk together towards the rainforest's edge. The sun bathes them in its gentle embrace, illuminating the path ahead. Their friendship, forged by nature's secrets and shared triumphs, becomes a beacon.